And now from the I-Team, we're hearing overwhelming responses from our viewers about the conditions inside Perryville Prison. Take a listen. They have girls that are throwing up, that are passing out. Something needs to be done. Please check on it before someone d does pass away from it. I am a loved one of an inmate, and she has told me today that it's still unbearable condition in the rooms. Anyway, I have a granddaughter there, and I'm hearing horror stories still. People die in these conditions, and I just want to keep advocating for these women because they they don't deserve, nobody deserves this. Now, those concerns come from several voicemails we've received since we started reporting on the lack of air conditioning inside Perryville Prison in Goodyear. And based on the responses we've gotten, the I-Team's Erica Stapleton has certainly struck a nerve with this reporting. So she joins us live in Studio 12A with more. Erica, what is next? You know, guys, we're hearing a lot of different stories when it comes to what's actually happening inside. We asked the department if we could go into Perryville ourselves to see what's happening, but they denied our request, saying they didn't have the resources available at this critical time. Seizures, uh, 911 calls, emotional temperatures being really high. Mary Campbell can't believe what she's hearing. One of the women said everybody's at a 10, and that's not what you want in a prison environment. Her niece, more than a year into her sentence at Perryville Prison, feeling helpless on the inside, sending her aunt alarming emails about her stifling hot cell in this record heat wave. One reading in part, I know I'm in prison, but last I checked, I was sentenced to three years, not death. I think it's one of many conditions in the prison system that's not acceptable, but this is life-threatening. And many of these women are nonviolent offenders. You know, people who've suffered from addiction, have had traumatic experiences. So no, this is not how you treat human beings. Mary isn't alone. The 12 News I team fielding more than three dozen unique calls and messages from inmates and their loved ones, all concerned with how the Department of Corrections is handling the heat at Perryville. Some calling it unbearable heat unbearable conditions and they're genuinely concerned. What would you say to them? I would say to them that I'm concerned as well. I'm concerned about the staff. I'm concerned about the population. Despite Arizona Prison Director Ryan Thornell saying cells were temping in the mid 80s earlier this week. I have not had a report of any cell hitting the hundreds or feeling like the hundreds. Many women inside argue their cells are temping much higher in the 90s and the low hundreds. The I-team requested the temperature logs for Perryville Prison this month but the department hasn't yet responded to that request. The corrections department did confirm that some of the air conditioners and swamp coolers failed last weekend, but insisted they've been fixed already to help mitigate the heat. They said they've been doing things like moving women into the visitation area to cool off. We're not just doing that in little 30 minute blocks here or there, that's ongoing and that will be ongoing until this heat wave passes so that they're not sitting in their cell uh, they're not sitting outside in the wreck area. These efforts, even ICE deliveries, doing little to quell concerns for loved ones, feeling helpless on the outside. If someone's going to get harmed or die from these conditions, it's just the well-being of these women. It would have been good if you'd been able to get in there. It's too bad they turned you down, but what else are you looking into? You know, we'll certainly keep trying that, but in the meantime, we've actually been trying to look at first responders who might respond there. I talked to Buckeye Valley. They told us that they have not had any heat calls there so far this summer, but we're still waiting to hear from Goodyear. And we also have some outstanding record requests when it comes to the maintenance work done at the prison and also, you know, those temperature checks that are being done. And we still want to hear from you guys. As when they said the response has been overwhelming, we are still getting calls. We are still getting emails. We are still getting messages, so it's taking a bit to get through them all, but I promise we'll get to them. But we want to keep hearing from you guys. If you have a tip, feel free to reach out to us at connect at 12news.com. All right. All right. Sure well, thank you, Erica. Erica, thanks.